to day two of the AFA's mid-year meeting here just outside Salt Lake City. Uh, anyone that's been in the fencing industry for more than about five minutes knows the one and only Tony, Tony Thornton. Tony, we're getting ready to go into, so yesterday we had the strategic planning mm -hmm. sessions where, well, first we had the history where right. we kind of learned where F AFA has come from over the years. Yeah. Then when that led into the strategic planning, figure out where we're going, see yeah. if it needs realigned mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. Now, speaking of alignment, so today we're going into the alignment meeting. That's correct. What can we expect from the meeting today? Well, as everyone knows, I served as executive director for a little over eight years. And, uh, you know, this whole process is all about, you know, putting in a roadmap for okay. the management team, the staff, and, you know, that execution of alignment in order to provide the benefits and the return on investment and those type things for our members. Okay. okay? So uh, this has been part of, you know, uh, the American Fence Association for years. Sure. And I'm glad that you're videoing this and putting it out there because a lot of the members and even non-members don't realize how much goes into trying to run an organization. Sure, sure. So as you mentioned yesterday, we talked about history. We talked about where we come from. And what really resonated with me, and I've said it for years, is don't forget your past. Don't yeah. make those mistakes. Right. But you've definitely got to be nimble enough to make modifications and move forward, right? So when the uh, strategic plan was put up and discussed in the four or five key areas, it has drivers. Yep. And now today, after everybody's had time to you know think about it, review it, that hasn't been aligned with the strategic, uh, which is the chapter president's club and, and the other members that showed up new today, uh, you know, or yesterday, uh, now the, is, the, is the alignment time. Sure. Let's, let's get our thoughts out on paper. Let's have some discernment discussions. You know, you can't make everybody happy, but <laughs> sure. if, if you can just get yourself a line, a roadmap, then that gives, uh, you know, the executive director and the staff a, a, a road, you know, a focus that, hey guys, this is what you've told me to do. Sure. This is the budget you've given me. Yep. And that's what we should see today. Okay. So it, it's a process. Oh man, I tell you what, it's, it's been eye-opening just to sit in the meetings like a fly on the wall to see. One thing we talked about yesterday that we hadn't covered quite yet is the governance portion as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. There's, there, there <laughs> is a means to the madness, right? There is a way that everything gets done. There's a proper order. Mm -hmm. And it's good for us to see that, to see the, to, to see the strategic planning, now the alignment. One thing I think that's interesting, too, is not only do we have chapter presidents, we have president-elects. Yes. So these guys can take can take all of this yes. back to the chapter level, right. share with them knowledgeably, hey, here's where our goals are, here's how we're gonna execute them, that sort of thing. Well, you're laying the foundation, right? Sure. You bring in your chair elects, uh, you know, those individuals are sitting there like, wow, I didn't know how much went into all this. And yep. then and then they can go back and be better prepared with the foundation and the knowledge in order to step into that chapter president's role. Yeah. Uh, you know, that was implemented many years ago uh, simply to do exactly what we said, build a foundation. We've sure. got to have people understanding what they've gotten themselves into, understanding that, you know, running this organization is is, is like running a business. Yeah. You know, yep. and, and to your point, the governance piece is sometimes overlooked. But when you're talking about Robert's Rules of Order and keeping people organized, and keeping people, you know, focused on what the goals and objectives are. It's a mind blowing experience. I'm I'm looking forward to it as well. We'll <laughs> we'll we'll, re, we'll reconvene maybe after the meeting yeah. to see uh, wh yeah. where we actually ended up. I, I appreciate uh, you know the American Fence Association staff yeah. and management team you know inviting us. Right? You're right. You know? Yeah, absolutely. I, I told my wife. I said I'm sitting on the other side of the table. <laughs> you know, this is going to be interesting. But yeah. it's been rewarding, and I think that the uh, content that was provided yesterday was. Um, was uh, really some home runs. Yeah, I really did. That's Absolutely, really and, and it leaves me excited to see what the year to come might look yeah. like. Knowing, you know, they shared a few things that aren't quite out yet. They're yeah. coming in a few yeah. months that I think are very exciting that mm -hmm. when they do come to light, is really going to change how, you know, change the face of AFA maybe, or Agreed. maybe one of the ways it runs. Just another benefit to be part of it. That's right. Get That's engaged. Right. <laughs> guys, <laughs> we're gonna head into the meeting and I'll catch you guys after. Tony, thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Sir. <laughs> All right, guys. Day two at the AFA mid-year meeting here outside Salt Lake City. We just wrapped up the alignment meeting. So yesterday we had a little bit of history, a little bit of governance. We also talked about strategic planning. Today's meeting was really about, it sounded like when we went into it, the objectives were that we were going to understand how to apply those strategic goals into maybe our chapter level, how to align the chapters with the goals, that sort of thing. 
What were your key takeaways from the meeting we just got out of? Well, I thought it was, uh, what I felt came out really good was how it emphasized our mission statement. Yeah. You know, because of giving back to the community. We talked a lot about our chapter projects, yeah. all the giving back in uh the emotional connection between all of the members that was there was really positive and uh, just a family atmosphere that uh, over the last couple of days, it's a lot of the uh, newer chapter presidents, yep. they're really grasping and watching these guys interact and helping each other and mentor one another. Man, it's just been amazing. Absolutely. I thought it was really interesting, too, when they were highlighting the chapter projects, because then that also gives other chapters an idea. Hey, here's what's going on. Here's how we're supporting our local community, but also the mission statement. It was it was kind of like a general sharing of knowledge of here's what's worked for us. It might work for you as well. Oh, 100 percent. And you could see people just light up like. I guarantee you there's going to be chapters looking into that Purple Heart Foundation, right? Absolutely, yes. Because they, wow, we've been trying to figure out what to do. That's what they do. How can we sure. emulate that? Because look what they're getting. Not only yeah. what they're giving, yeah. but what they're getting back. You see the emotional, I mean, it's it's not a job. It's just a privilege to sure. go help these people. You well, know? and one thing that, that, that Daniel talked about, you talked about, so obviously I'm in the Midwest chapter. I love the Midwest. We have the best chapter. Well, of course. <laughs> well, that's why, I mean, chapter of the year, we, we're we looking at it again. Let's be honest. Um, 100%. But, um, but you guys got to share that. So this year, obviously, tornadoes had, had broken out. So Daniel shared. Uh, about how the Midwest chapter was able to come together, take some of the funds that we had raised from events past and give back to those communities that were hit hard, oh. devastated by those. And then you'd shared uh, specifically how that had happened, that touched you personally oh. in years oh, past. Yeah. yeah, I wasn't involved very long and uh, my daughter's house was taken out by a tornado. Oh, and I mean, completely taken out. And I just shared it with Tony and uh, he shared it with staff and they, the, com the AFA community as a whole just showered us yeah. with support. They never asked for anything back. We didn't know. Some of these guys that were good friends, some of them I didn't even know. Right. You know, right. but they, we were a family because yeah. we were in this fence family, as you guys say, our right. fence fam. Our fence fam, that's you right. You know, even before it was a tagline. Sure. And they just showered us with love and blessings, you know, and that's really the heart of our association. Absolutely. You know, and you really don't, you really don't feel it until yeah. you're here. And when you, you give of yourself to get involved and what you get back out of it, oh my goodness, it's Massive. so much more. Well, and it is, it is so great to hear stories like that, but also in this alignment meeting, see how those stories lead to the alignment of, like you said, of the mission statement and just of the mission in general, the purpose of the American Fence Association. Yes, because we want to give back to our members, our community. We want to, and just, you know, like we rise, like you say, we rise, uh, rising tide lifts all ships, yeah. right? Yeah. And we all want to raise our, and you just watch light bulbs go off with this alignment yeah. because it's just, we provide education we have these schools, but also look how much education we provided in these boardrooms. Absolutely. You know, well, just a sharing of information. Just being, even the, well, even Andy just now. Yeah. The yeah. insurance, you know, it was amazing. Well, I appreciate being given the opportunity to come be a fly on the wall because, guys, I'm telling you, the information that gets shared in there, it's tremendous. And it's shared with chapter presidents, uh, president-elects so that they have a better idea what they're coming into next year, but also so that they can bring it back to you guys, those of you in local AFA, regional AFA chapters, to try to pass all this knowledge on to you guys. Uh, for more information, reach out to your regional chapter, either president or president-elect, uh, to learn more about what happened uh, here at the mid-year AFA meetings. Absolutely. Thanks, Joe. Randy, thank you so much. I always appreciate you. You betcha. All right, guys. If you remember one thing from what I've been telling you guys about coming to events, so we're, actually, we're obviously at the mid-year meeting here for the AFA in Salt Lake, but whether we're talking about fence tech, whether we're talking about we've got West Coast Fence Show coming up, any of the events that get you out of the office around your industry peers, what you guys hear me tell you a lot of times is the value is meeting people and networking. Uh, Burns a great, great example of that. We had never met prior never. to this. We met at the opening reception yes. uh, just, just a few days ago. 
Bert, why don't you introduce yourselves to the folks at home? My name is Baron Green. I'm with Commercial Fence and Ironworks out of Golden, Colorado. Very good. Now, and you're also chapter president for Colorado as well. Yes. So can you tell me a little bit about that? Maybe the presidency, what that looks like? Yeah, you know, it was um, it was interesting at first, Joe. We Our attendance, our membership was low. Okay. So really what we're trying to do is expose the, our Colorado contractors to what a great program and association the AFA is um, as far as networking, vendor relations, things of that nature. So really just exposing them to the AFA and the Colorado Fence Association. Absolutely. Well, and when you look at the mission, the, the mission statement we looked at yesterday, it's kind of in line with that, right? Absolutely. Like just providing the most value to our fencing community, whether yes. that's the contractors, whether that's suppliers, distributors, whomever, providing the most you know value possible to the members. That is the key. Yes, it is all about the value to the members. Now, so in this mid-year meeting, we've already been through the history. We went through strategic planning, the governance, that sort of thing, and it all accumulated to today with the alignment. Why don't you give me your impression or some key takeaways from today's alignment meeting? So today's meeting, you're right, it was about alignment. And I was a little skeptical this morning, okay. knowing what it was going to be about, because there, sometimes there's a little disconnect between the board of directors and the chapter presidents. Sure. This morning was amazing. Okay. I, I truly feel that all of the chapter presidents and all of the board of directors, as well as the AFA staff, we are all in alignment. Um, from the education modules that are coming out, yep. the time and effort that the AFA has put into this to the education, and there again, go back to value. I, I don't feel that there's ever been a moment in the AFA where there's more value for our members. Agreed, agreed. So it, it's great. And, and you mentioned education. So Nick has done a tremendous job on education. Oh, yeah. and, and in the coming months, I think as much value as you see today, I think in the coming months, the membership is going to see significantly oh. more value just in terms of the educational. Level. Yes. And that, that really comes down to us, the chapter presidents, I feel, to roll this out to yeah. our contractors in our in our different states. Sure. Um, it's vital. Well, and that's one of the key roles of the mid-year meeting. I mean, there's several, yes. but one of them is to make sure because we've got chapter presidents, we have president elects, uh, they allowed some of the few of us that are neither to be flies on the wall. But the idea is so that we can take the message and take the the uh, strategic plan, take the alignment meeting, take all of this back to the chapters and try to explain to them, hey, here's what's coming. Here's some benefits that are coming down the road, that sort of thing. Yes. Just getting everyone into alignment. That's Just it. make sure everyone's on the same page. That's absolutely correct. I, I was speaking to one of the board members earlier and um, I've never felt a sense of urgency like I feel when I get back to act on this. Sure. You yeah. know, it, it's vital. It's important for our organization that we all do so. Well, and we talked a little bit before this about, you know, it's like a sprint wrapped up in a marathon. <laughs> yes. it's trying to get the information out as quickly as we can because there is a tremendous amount of value in the information, but also setting the chapter up because it, it'll be a 12 month marathon until next year's mid year. Oh, yeah. So just getting information about area events, education opportunities, testing opportunities, that sort of thing. Yes, yes, it's it's going to be a wild ride. Uh, I'm really looking forward to Salt Lake. I think um, anyone who is considering attending, what it, it, you can sign up in October. Yeah, sign up immediately. <laughs> Get it. Uh, the the opportunities. Uh, the vendors, the the training, the education, it's going to be a great show. Well, and we've heard them talk about, so Monday they did a facility walk there at the uh, Salt Palace at the convention center where it's going to be held at. Amazing venue. There's been some really tremendous upgrades, and it sounds like they've got one of the best teams put together to run that expo. Uh, I'm really excited. Uh, coming off of last year, when right. I, I don't know that I've seen a show run that smoothly, no. They said, you know, we've actually added a few little upgrades to our team, and so we changed a few things. How? <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. I'm really excited yes. just to see the show, to get involved. Tons of education. Nick spoke on it a little bit. Uh, still finalizing educators, still finalizing that. But guys, watch out for FinTech registration at, it, at a basic level, but also look into the education. Yes. Because I think there's going to be a tremendous amount of value there. Education is key. Um, online training online classes it's huge yeah um I, I don't know of any other organization who is doing what we're doing that's right that's right so that's one of the things you guys can be looking for in the coming months um even if education isn't in your backyard there's going to be some opportunities in the Absolutely. future to get that education 
um, right in the comfort of your own home or office. Yes. Very good. Thank you so much. So Thank good to you meet Joe. you. You as well, Jerry. I'm excited. You no, you made me an offer that I could come visit. <laughs> oh, absolutely. So I'm, I did. I'm excited to take we, you up on we'd that. We'd love offer. to have you. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, stay tuned for more. Uh, again, mid-year meeting, AFA here outside Salt Lake City. Uh, tremendous amount of value getting bit pushed down to the chapter presidents, to the flies on the wall that let they let a few of us be here. Uh, it's a great time. Thank you, AFA, for involving all of us in this, and I'm excited for the year to come. Absolutely, Joe. Looking forward to it. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. If you're in the fencing industry, you probably already have at least heard Shane on one of the many podcasts, or if you're lucky enough, you've met him. Shane Ken, thank you so much for taking time Joe, to the interview. It's always good seeing you, my friend. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, no, absolutely. Absolutely. It's a uh, it's been a great week out here. Right. So we're at the mid-year meeting at the AFA mid-year outside Salt Lake City. Yeah. Beautiful. This whole area is beautiful. Oh, yeah. Um, so the goal of this week, one, uh, so earlier on in the week, they went to view the Salt Palace where the convention center is. Mm -hmm. Heard great things about it. Same. Came back here for mid-year meetings, which was a little bit of a, a history and kind of a, an explanation of the governance. Yeah. Then it was a strategic planning. Yeah. So where are we going? That sort of thing. Today's meeting was more of alignment, or it was alignment. Yeah. How can we take that strategic plan, put it into action? What were some key takeaways from the meeting? I can tell you one thing is being a new chapter president, some of the key takeaways, I mean, I'd almost just say just about everything from the history of the AFA, the information I can bring back to my chapter, um, new fence companies that are coming in, folks that have maybe heard of AFA but don't really know what we embody sure. um, from the knowledge, the skills, and the abilities, and, and the tool belt that we provide um, to fence companies, contractors, owners, vendors, suppliers, manufacturers, whatever that may be. Um, you know, like I said, me being new in the chapter president side of things, you know, what makes a, a AFA fence chapter successful, sure. you know, uh, what, what keeps us in compliance, right? Making sure regulations are followed, right? Yep. You know, today we talked about different insurance, you know, <laughs> policies and programs yeah. and stuff. Yeah. And I mean, I have a lot of insurance that probably just like you as well, but there sure. was a couple in there. I was like, you know what? I, I might want to just, I might want to call up my insurance company just to make <laughs> sure we have these things. Right, right. Uh, and then, you know, you regurgitate that back into your chapter, right? Like, yes. guys, this is what we've learned. You know, you want to summarize the key events that, are, that have been here, right? Um, and so, you know, I, you know, we, they give us the notebooks and the pads and stuff like that. And I've just been scribbling away, <laughs> running, running the ink out of the pen. Yeah. Um, you know, we, you know, we talked about uh, the chip program today, right? And just yes. and, and different initiatives that allow us as a chapter to earn money and being in compliance, right? Because sure. then we can then, in fact, take that money and put it back into our chapter and our community. Absolutely. You know, whether it's you know projects, whether it's mm -hmm. golf events, you know, Ken does his shootings and stuff yeah. like that, right? Yeah. And there's always a, an initiative behind that, right? Whether sure. it's giving money back to you know a, a cause, right? Or yeah. you know, like Randy talked about when his, his daughter's house, you know, got yes. destroyed, right? right? I actually teared up a little bit when, when he said that, no doubt about that. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, for me, it's been an eye-opening experience across the board. You know, there's a lot of heavy hitters in here right. that have been in the industry for a long time. And, oh, yeah. you know, a lot of this is I've talked about, obviously, you know, being younger, you know, I'm 30 uh, in an industry. Um, there's people that have been around here, you know, like even Tony, you know, 47 years, all these right. other people, right, that have been around a long time. Oh, yeah. And just in any other type of business conglomerate there is, there's there's always kind of a, a, a passing of the torch, right? Sure. And you know we're coming up on those years. You know, um, some people like to talk a bit, you know about it. Some people don't. You know, sure. um, but it's going to come it, one way or the other. Yeah. And so it's how do we you know succession plan not just our company yeah. but the association. You know, the right knowledge is getting you know spearheaded right. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we're like I said, taking that back to our chapters and our our people that that we work with and alongside with and regurgitating that information professionally, making sure, sure they have the information they need. If you need support from the AFA. Here's the legal counsel to reach out to. Right. Here's the marketing people to work out. You know, um, you know, I, I had talked about it, uh, uh, the marketing side of things a little bit uh, to some of the reps here, and it's like, you know, I want more in my tool belt yeah. when I, especially being that I'm I'm a new guy. You know, yes, it's easy to say, hey, let's join AFA. It's it's a good yeah. time, right? But it's right. it's more about that, right? Absolutely. Whether it's whether it's videos, stuff like this that we're doing, you right. know. Um, whatever that may be, marketing information, stuff like that, so digital logos. Who education. Knows? 
Nick yeah. spoke yesterday and today on exactly. some in, some education initiatives that are rolling out in the near future. Yeah, there's so many. You know, I mean, the the 50 plus online courses you could do. The learning yeah. management system, also known as LMS, you'll probably hear. Um, you know, to where if fence companies or contractors or suppliers or vendors have that, they yeah. can piggyback off of the LMS system we already have. And and if you guys don't know, LMS systems are they're expensive. Um, so if we can tie into that, and then now you have an entire library of resources, yeah, right? I mean, it's yours, untouchable. But they sit side by side with the AFAs. Yeah. So not only getting access to your content, but also the AFA content. Yeah, yeah. And so there, I mean, there were some things in the in the learning side of the things that I, I didn't even know of. Right. You know, uh, even, you know, learning our portals and stuff like that, right? Um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a computer guy, but I got I to gotta be shown once, right? <laughs> sure, I, can, sure. I can tool around on the thing a little bit and whatnot, but, you know, once I'm showed once, I'm lethal, you know? Yeah. And so um, being able to be, you know, and, and rub shoulders with like-minded folks and, and uh, tackle a lot of that stuff, a lot of the questions that I had, sure. um, it makes me that more excited um, to take our chapter to the next level, you know. Uh, and, and I was even put on the microphone today, and I'll, I'll say right here, you know, the Kentucky-Indiana chapter, we're coming for the chapter of the year award. Well, so. now it... I'm coming from the Midwest chapter. I'm just saying know. that that's a high bar. It's a high know. bar. I don't know. <laughs> I, I I told a couple of people keep their head on a swivel. Sure, so, sure, sure. Uh, but no, but that's the competition, the friendly competition we run, right? right? Well, and that's something we hope for, yeah. right? So if we both run, both of our chapters run as hard as we can, climb f as high as we can, and you lose, you're still sitting at the top of the mountain. Yeah. You know, you've yeah. still accomplished education goals, certification yeah. goals, just getting people together. Oh, yeah. You've accomplished all this, service projects, the whole thing. So it's not it's not like there's winners and losers. Now, somebody does get the hardware. So there's there's you some recognition there. As Ricky Bobby says, if you ain't first, you're last. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, but but that's the that's the friendly camaraderie that we should yeah. all have. Of course. Um, because you know, everybody knows hashtag fence fam, right? Yeah, exactly. and, and that's what we are, you yes. know? So uh, better in the industry, better in the people, better in the products, the installs, whatever that may be, right? Yep. Um, and and it's, it's, been a, it's been an absolutely great day. And like you said, we're in a picturesque setting. Yep. We're right here in the middle of uh, Deer Valley Resorts in, yep. in Park City, Utah. And I'm excited for Fence Tech out here. Uh, I, think it, I think it's going to be great. We got in a little bit early. We checked out the town and whatnot. Um, I'm excited for Fence Tech 2026. It's going to be in Indianapolis. Okay, so okay. I, I, I got some things up my sleeve for, <laughs> for everybody. Uh, but uh, no, it, it's been an absolutely great time. It's always great okay. seeing you too, of Joe. Of course, of course. Hey, let's, let's uh, pause for a second or split, change directions for a second, I guess. So you're talking about, so you're coming into the chapter, and we talked a little bit at this last meeting about you're breathing new life into this chapter, yeah. right? So you're revitalizing it. What does that process look like? It is, uh, it's an interesting process. You know, some folks know, some folks don't, you know, our chapter wasn't in compliance, you know. Um, it was on the, it was on the, the verge of, of being dissolved, right? Yeah. And that's something that I didn't want, you know, I was an HR guy in the past. I sat on many boards and committees on the HR side, and once I flipped the script and became a, a, a fence guy, um, that was one of the first resources I reached out to was the AFS. Like, there's got to be something out here to help us and guide us or lead us or, or whatever that is, right? Um, and once I started that conversation with Tony back in the day, then with the Sam and with the Mike Reed and whatnot, um, you know, just so happened we were able to pass the torch uh, to myself, um, you know, you know, Jacob, who, who is my business partner, but also sits on the Midwest fence supply side of things. You yep. know, he's the president elect. I have D and D technologies on the board. Nice. I have Digger Specialties aluminum products on the board. I got Hearth Finance on the board, and I got three other fence companies that are not just local to me. You sure. know, they're across the state and so, some across state lines, right? So, Perfect. you know, I was able to bring that board together, um, and, and and they all said the same thing: like we want to see this succeed. Yeah. So we're all singing the same song. Um, so, you know, learning a lot of these processes, the portals, what makes us successful, what makes us compliant, right? You know, that's part of the learning curve, right? But it's, sure. it's being alongside of folks like yourself, you know, the Bryans, you know, the Tonys and all this other stuff, right? That have done this, that have, have, have ran the race right now. I always tell folks, don't reinvent the wheel. Sure. You know, it's yeah. been done. There's easy paths to success, right? Um, and, and really that's what I'm doing now, you know? And so I'm re-engaging the members that we've had. Um, I'm engaging new members, right? Yeah. Um, anytime anybody makes a supply purchase on our side, I'm like, wait a second, why didn't I see you at our meeting? You're yeah. you're in my area. What's what's going on here? Absolutely. You know, um, and then I, I mean, I, 
I selfishly, I do a lot of door knocking too. You know, yeah. I'm like, hey, fence company, what's going on? Yeah. You know, my logos are off, my AFA logos are on. Sure. So, you know, what are you doing to better your company, better your team, right? Education, certifications, yep. training, right? Because we are professionals professionals in our industry. Absolutely. You know? um, and, and what does it take to embody that? It's, it's doing stuff like this, you well, know? And I think one thing through AFA, what we're learning is, even if you and I are in the same market, we're not necessarily competitors, No, right? So there could be a time where I come in need, you know, the project grows and I need some hardware that I just don't have on hand. Yeah. Being that we're both in AFA, we're both in the same chapter, I know I can come to you and say, hey, do you mind? Yeah. Or role reversal. I mean, we've all been shorted materials once or twice. Once or twice. So, uh -huh. you, got, you know, you guys have, you got guys in my neighborhood and they say, hey, listen, they're short a few roles or they're short whatever it is. Us being an AFA, we've got a camaraderie to where we say, listen, the table is big enough for us all to eat. Yeah. So what do you need? Yeah. Have your guys get what they need and we'll support each other. Yeah. That's what I say in, in Indiana and the surrounding states we do fence in. You know, it's like there, there's enough fence out there for everybody. I can't do it all myself, right? right? right. I probably wouldn't want to try to do it all. <laughs> you know, yeah. uh, just like yourself, we're busy. You sure, know? sure, sure, sure. Um, but it, no, it, it's absolutely come to, you know, I've had guys in Fort Wayne and Columbus and Kentucky and stuff like that, right? And, um, you know, one of the first companies that I'll reach out to is, is an AFA member, yep. right? Yep. I see their member, see what's going on. Hey, I got a crew down here working on some Walmarts. I'm up here in West Lafayette working on a college or something like that. Like, yep. I'm short this, the, the contractor's at it. I was just down in Kentucky, like Bowling Green, Kentucky, okay. uh, two weeks ago. And a uh, contractor, we were, they say, hey, we wanted another 850 foot of post-driven eight foot temp fence. Oh. I'm like, what? You know? uh -huh. And that's like four and a half hours from me and stuff like that. So that's not a quick shop. Yeah, you're not just turning around. No, no. So we had to be strategic about who we were asking. Yeah. Good material, good quality, you yeah. know, all that stuff, right? Um, and I utilized the AFA for that. I sure. said, say, who's in there? Who's active? What's going on, right? And boom, we're sending somebody to this company. And they took care of us swiftly, easily. So... I'm 100% right there with you. You know, yeah. we're, we're all in this together. We're getting better together. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited to see where a lot of these changes and movements and, and you know, we, we got a snowball that's running down a hill right now. It's I, only I uphill it. from here, or it's yeah. only up from here. You yeah. know, it's, it's, there's so many resources that we're being given. There's no way that the industry itself isn't wildly successful in the short term. Yeah, yeah. No, I wholeheartedly agree with you. Guys, appreciate you joining us. Joe Everest, defense expert, joined by Shane. Make it happen, Captain. That's, That's right. It. That's right. <laughs> we'll see you guys here next time.